Western civilization, you know, the, the thing created in uh, Northern Europe over the past many centuries that has, uh, you know, spread all over the world and has been pretty much responsible for scientific advancement and economic prosperity all over the world. Scientific, uh, uh, Western civilization is under uh, a lot of pressure right now. And the pressure has come from the this this COVID nineteen thing. It's been under pressure since way before that, but this has proven to be the most useful tool in the arsenal of weapons being used against Western civilization. Now, in two thousand twenty, in the first quarter of two thousand twenty, a uh, a mild flu began to circulate. The, the mild flu may or may not have originated in a Chinese lab. All right? But it, back at the time, the data accumulated rather rapidly, and the death rate from COVID-19 was remarkably small. The, a normal seasonal flu killed more people than COVID-19. COVID-19 didn't kill anybody under the age of 18. I mean, statistically, anybody under the age of 18. And the flu does. A bad flu can kill a kid. But COVID-19 didn't kill any kids. COVID-19 killed old people with comorbidities like obesity and COPD, that sort of thing. Those are the people that killed. And the death rate was very, 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 very small. Very small. I did the numbers on it three years ago. And the numbers have not increased. The only things that that has increased are the death figures that are now obviously a direct result of the vaccinations developed to counter this deadly disease now i'm not going to read the numbers to you today because you can look it up just as easily as i can but it is obvious to everyone now who is paying attention that the vaccinations have killed far far more people than the virus has now how did this happen well the way it happened is I guess the easiest explanation for this is bureaucracy. All right, what is a bureaucracy? Okay, a bureaucracy is a structure put in place by either a government or a quasi governmental organization like a large corporation that these entities use to manage their affairs. And the purpose of a bureaucracy is to remove individual responsibility from any decision made by a bureaucrat. Now, that's exactly what's happened, isn't it? Who is responsible and who will pay for the deaths of millions of people as a result of giant pharmaceutical companies rushing through the development of vaccinations without adequate testing. Who's responsible? Who will go to jail for that? Who will be executed for that? Well, no one. No one, because they're not personally responsible. Okay, they're not personally responsible for this. Because we've set it up so they're not responsible. In fact, contingent on rushing the vaccination onto the market was the stipulation that the companies rushing the vaccination on the market could not be sued. Remember that? Remember that part of the deal back in the fall of 2020? 
the the whole idea was that we'll rush this forward, but we're not we're not liable for anything that happens. As a result, as a result of this, we can't be sued. And we're not going to be criminally liable. And when the governments around the world said, "Oh yes, certainly, whatever you want, just save us, <laughs> save us from this, this deadly plague," and as a result, uh, people are dying. People are dying now. People are not dying from COVID nineteen. People are dying from the effects of the vaccinations against COVID-19. Now, I know you won't hear that on MSNBC. I remember that woman looking at the camera all serious, like we were idiots, and saying the COVID-19 vaccination is safe and effective. It's safe and effective. And what she didn't say was, you idiots. I'm telling you it's safe and effective. And you can believe me because I'm on television. Right? Now, in, in, in all honesty, Donald Trump bears quite a bit of that responsibility for this. Donald Trump was operating out of his field. And the biggest problem during the Trump administration was his reliance on people who later proved to be unreliable. You remember John Bolton? Well, look at Anthony Fauci. Anthony Fauci's been wrong about everything he's ever said. Look that comment by Carrie Mullis, the genius Carrie Mullis who invented PCR. Look up Carrie Mullis's remark on, on Anthony Fauci. I remember back in the 80s, Anthony Fauci was the guy in about 1988 who said that by 1992, 22 million Americans would be dead of AIDS. I remember that, and I told you guys that on the board back in April of 2020. And two or three people said, I never heard him say that. Well, I did. I heard him say that, and I remembered it. And a lot of people have since dug that up. And yes, that's what he said. He doesn't know what he's talking about, yet he is the science. (laughs) People. Tom Sowell once said that he could not think of a more stupid, idiotic, incorrect way to make decisions than to appoint people to make those decisions who were not personally liable for the outcome of those decisions. Tom Sowell is a brilliant man. Anthony Fauci is a bureaucrat. He is a bureaucrat. That's all he is. Bureaucrats got us into this mess. And they are not going to get us out. And they will not be held responsible for what has happened to the human race as a result of this debacle because we don't yet know the full extent of the effects of this vaccination program. We have no idea what where it will end up. We don't know. We don't know the effects on fertility long-term health of the people who got vaccinated. We don't know any of this shit yet because we are in uncharted territory and we have been placed there by bureaucrats. You keep this in mind. Next time you read something that a supposed person in authority wants you to believe. 